eating hot chicken flavor ramen. Bye, Sam Young. See, we're eating these. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. And I've added rice cakes. Let's get this on the plate. And then we can say our prayers and get to eating because I have cheese. Of course, I have cheese. I want to get this on here so we can pray while it's melting. We'll pray that it melts. How about that? We will pray that this all melts. I don't want too much liquid. This is two packs. I don't think this is challenge type pot. This is just a spicy, you know, chicken ramen. I've never had this one before, but I don't have, I, I just don't think it's one of those spicy, crazy ones that's going to make me, like, lose my mind here. You guys get a good look. Can you see the noodles really well? Let's put this over here, out of the way. Again, we have two packs. Two pack, two packs. <laughs> Not two pack, two packs. These are the two sauce packs. Hopefully they are not the sauce of death. We don't want anything so hot that we can't be comfortable here and eat and enjoy our food. I'm going to open them both up at once. I'm trying to hurry because I don't want this to, to um, cool down too much because I don't have my hot plate under this. I don't want it to cool down too much where the... Uh, the cheese won't melt when I put the cheese on. I really should have had my hot plate under this, so. We're going to just use some um, shredded mozzarella. I figured that would be uh, the easiest to melt. Yummy, yummy. Actually, let me mix this really quick. How are you guys doing today? It's Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week. I remember when I worked a nine to five, when I got to that Wednesday, I was always like, oh, I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. Just waiting for that Friday to come. Waiting, waiting for that Friday. Now Friday comes and I don't even know what day it is. I'm just like, oh, today's Friday? <laughs> Already? When you work from home, sometimes you just lose track of your days. Really? Crazy. This looks pretty mixed. That look mixed enough to you guys from your end? I hope so. We're going to drop this cheese in here because I really hope it's hot enough to melt. That's the plan, rubber band. Just a little more. We don't got to get too crazy. I was going to do some an egg also. I should have done an egg, but... I just figured the cheese was enough. Please melt. We're going to add that to our prayer. Ask God to help us melt this cheese. Because we would like some cheesy noodles. This is actually the first time I've had rice cakes. Leave that. I 
have made a mess. I really have. There is just stuff everywhere over here. This stuff is like, it stains you. This red chili stuff, it gets everywhere. It's gross. If you could see over here, it looks like a, a murder scene. My goodness. These are the little veggies, the dried veggies, the seaweed and uh, sesame seeds. Okay, let's pray over this food and get started. Okay, so we have kimchi on the side. I love my kimchi. And so we went to Ranch 99 Market, my sister and I, with my niece. I brought these just in case. My sister and I with my niece, and we saw that they had durian um, pastries. So I'm gonna try this. I'm telling you, I'm a little scared because it, it doesn't, you know, durian has a funny smell. Many, many people say that, you know, the smell is a little off-putting. So we will see how that goes. Let's get into this food. I have wasted enough time. I have a bowl right here that I'm going to put in so I can eat a little closer. I can bring the food a little closer to me. Look at that. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. I hope it's not too spicy. Oh, it melted, you guys. Oh, our cheese melted, you guys. Yum. Okay, you guys, let's try this out. I've never had these noodles, and I have not had rice cakes before. So this is new for both of us. Well, maybe not all of us. Some of you out there may have already had these noodles, and I'm sure you've had rice cakes. Mm. Whew. You got a kick? Yep. Um, I underestimated my opponent here. Sorry, I keep clicking my monitor. It's on my I just hooked it up to my laptop today to see if I could see myself a little better. And apparently I didn't. My screensaver keeps popping up. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. It's good. Mmm. So the rice cakes are nice and chewy. Really chewy. How many of you out there have tried durian? It's a fruit. For those of you who haven't tried it and don't know what it is, it's a fruit. How many of you out there have tried it? And do you like it? Mm. Oh, sorry for all the noise, you guys. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Yeah, has a little kick. Definitely has a little kick. But it is, these noodles are good. They're very tasty. 
I don't like the noodles with that sweet aftertaste. These do not have it. They are burning my tongue, but it's not so bad where I'm like, I want to scream. But they are very spicy. Very spicy. Mm. Mm. Let's see you guys. I'm so happy the cheese melted. Do you see the cheese? I didn't put a whole bunch in there. Maybe I should have put more. These suckers are kind of hot. I'm trying to get as much as I can in the bowl. My lips are starting to burn. You know, it's crazy with all of these noodles. It'll, you'll get some of that heat, but then it starts sneaking up on you and it stays with you. Like it, it doesn't, it doesn't settle. It kind of keeps coming. Ooh. Yeah, it just it just keeps coming. You're probably wondering, like, Mona, why do you bother even putting the food on the platter if you're going to stick it in another bowl? It's just that I can't reach my platter and have the angle that I want on my camera. So I have to do it this way because to be full disclosure here, my body parts don't let me get close enough when I'm sitting down this low. After I have my surgery, I will be able to, you know, sit a little differently. I want this to get on my shirt. Mm. Oh my God, you guys. These are some good noodles. Mm. Good noodles. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. It is good. This is good food. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't eat like a, a crazy maniac when I'm at a restaurant. But if you're sitting across from me somewhere over there and you see me out and about, you may see me break out into a little dance. That I cannot, I, I can't, uh, Hold that in when my food is good. Mm. It comes out in my body. My body has to move. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> These darn things are. Woo! Spicy! Spicy noodles! I got some, I'm going to sing like B-Love. I got some 
spicy noodles. Spicy, spicy, spicy noodles. Spicy, spicy, spicy noodles. I should probably stop singing because y'all are gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> So I've been challenged again. Another crazy challenge. I actually have a few things that I have to do. The roommates tagged me in a would you rather. I have to do that. The would you rather questions. And I was tagged in a banana and ketchup combo. <sighs> um, challenge. Mm. Usually, I don't mention what my upcoming videos are, but I'm very scared of that one. So I'm mentioning it to you now so you can start praying for me now. So when I do the challenge, I'll be covered, covered in all of that prayer because I think I'm going to really need it. I think I'm really going to need it. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not sure if somewhere in some other country, you know, somebody eats that. And it's good to them. I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way to those people. I just don't. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't understand the concept at all of ketchup and bananas. Mm -mm. Mm. But whoever you are out there in the world that likes ketchup and bananas. I love you. I really do. And I mean no disrespect when I say I'm scared to death of this challenge. Mm. You see this thing? Well, you can't see it. I keep reaching over here. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm. Adding to adding the cheese to the noodles helps with the spice. I think without the cheese. I mean, it's not, it doesn't make a ridiculous amount of difference, but it does help. I, I think they would, you know, they would be a bit hotter without this cheese. You don't understand, my lips are burning, my tongue is burning, the roof of my mouth is burning. Mm. I want B-Love to try the, I want the roommates. I want Big Guy Appetite, and I want B-Love, oh, and Prissy P. I would love for all of them to try the um, ghost pepper noodles. I don't think any of them have tried those things. You have to order them on Amazon. I think they all come from Malaysia. I wasn't going to call anybody out on those noodles because I thought I was going to pass out when I was eating them because... I felt my body temperature just rising. Mm. But <clears throat> with all these hot challenges going around right now, I think I think they can do it.
I don't know if Nate can do it. My poor baby, poor baby. Nate from Big Guy Appetite. He just had, what are they, the mala noodles? The pink bag? I thought he was going to go into convulsions. Do you guys hear that, my ASMR friends? Yeah. Nate had a very hard time with uh, the mala noodles. I think they're the mala noodles, the pink bag. I don't know if they're hotter than these or not. <clears throat> mm. This is hot. This is hot, hot. And I'm getting full. Not a lot of noodle. Mmm. Yeah, so I'm calling out Nate, the roommates, B Loves Life, and Prissy P to do the ghost pepper noodles. Now, you know B-Love is just going to eat those noodles like it's nothing. They're supposed to be the hottest noodles in the world right now. I know that she's just going to blow through those noodles like it's nothing. That woman has, seriously, a stomach of steel. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is some hot stuff. I need some hot stuff, baby, tonight. I'm like um Amber over here singing all this stuff. <sighs> so for those of you again who like this fruit, I mean no disrespect if I don't like it or if I don't like the smell. I've I've heard many different things about this fruit, so. I'm going to give my honest review of this pastry. So you never know. I might love it. So this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? I don't know if he's focusing. Why aren't you focusing? Sorry, you guys, if this is not focusing. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Okay. Here we go. It's weird because the smell, the smell is not exactly pleasant to me. It's not the worst thing I smelled before, but it's not like a pleasant smell. So I'm wondering if that is affecting the taste for me. Because mostly I'm getting bread, but I'm getting a hint of 
what this is inside. Let me break this off so I can see. It looks kind of custardy. No, I guess that's just a solid fruit. This is what it looks like inside. If you guys can see it. Can you see it? Okay. Let's take a good bite so we can get in the middle of this. It's just a very strange smell. Like I can't pinpoint. I mean, it smells kind of tropical, but let's see. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I don't think I can eat the fruit. Just a straight fruit? Uh -uh. It's not for me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No. This is not for me. I'm sorry. This is not something I enjoyed. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope, 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 no. No. It's an acquired taste. I think, I don't know if the smell plays a big part in it because I really don't like the smell of it. So I don't know if that is making me like not, I, I you know, I, I can't enjoy this at all. Like it has no chance because of the smell. I, I don't know. I just don't know, but I know that I won't be trying this fruit. No, this is not for me. But you know, everybody has different taste buds. People like different things. I know um, Nikocado really likes durian. I don't. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, you guys, it's, mm -mm. it's in there. So today's post shout out goes to Jennifer M. It's just Jennifer M. I will put her name here. Jennifer M., thank you so very much for hanging out with me and leaving a comment. I really, really appreciate you spending your time with me. You are awesome. I love you to death. Thank you so very much. For all of you other Mookies, thank you so much for hanging out, 
You know I love you with all my heart. You are all awesome, covered in awesome sauce. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you on the next one. Please remember to be good to one another.